Romans were the first to use concrete rather than wood for bridges. Wood rots away very quickly when subjected to rain or moisture, so this was a major development in the construction of bridges. In 1779, the first arched iron bridge was created. In the 1800s, steel was created, allowing for the creation of longer and stronger bridges. Soon afterwards, John Roebling created steel cables, allowing for a variety of new bridges to be created. From times dating back to 2000 BC, we have used arch bridges. Now we use cable stayed bridges, suspension bridges, and beam bridges. We have developed different types of engineering arrangement for bridges, such as tridges and double decker bridges. Tridges are comprised of three bridges intersecting at the middle. Double decker bridges are comprised of two bridges stacked on top of each other. We've also started to use stronger and or lighter materials for bridges. Composites play a big role in the development of these materials. Due to the development and evolution of bridges, we are now able to get from place to place much faster. We have also started to make bridges around two stories higher than is actually required. This makes it easier to create fancier and better looking bridges. Bridges also help in other ways, such as allowing fast travel from one side of a canyon to another. They also allow safe travel as a safe alternative to ships and tunnels and other ways to bypass hazards.